And in business, Boeing has officially pushed back the time frame for the 737 MAX to return to full operation, sending its shares plunging and overshadowing an earlier announcement of a first flight of the delayed 77X plane. According to Boeing, it is now targeting the return of the grounded MAX during mid-2020. This is the latest delay in the schedule for the troubled jet, which has been grounded since March following two deadly crashes. Boeing shares finished at $313.37, down 3.3% after the New York Stock Exchange earlier halted trading for around 40 minutes. However, the company is in the process of raising at least $10 billion from Wall Street banks to cover costs connected to the max crisis, bank sources said on Monday. The first in the year's convergence by the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry and members of the press held today as the third female president, Toke Mabo Gunje, who was elected in December, addressed the press. She presented a brief on the state of the economy as she highlighted issues regarding the increase in VAT from 5% to 7.5% in what she said would affect production cost. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, the economy grew at an average of 21 seven percent between january and september 2019 which is below the population growth rate of about three percent in the third quarter of 2019 10 sectors expanded six contracted and three recorded moderate moderation in growth we believe the economy is not growing fast enough to create opportunities for the citizens of this country we therefore urge government as a matter of urgency to intensify diversification efforts and embrace structural reforms to attract private investment in stimulating economic growth. Considering the role of business in the economy, we advise government to vigorously implement friendly policies to support expansion of businesses. Rising inflation has a profound welfare effect on citizens as it weakens purchasing power. Heightened food inflation naturally escalates poverty, poverty conditions as food is basic to human existence. Intense inflationary pressure also have a negative impact on investment as cost of production and business operation increases. This typically takes a toll on profit margins as sales and turnover declines. Private investment inflows to Nigeria stood at 19.7 billion from the first to the third quarter of 2019. The domination of portfolio investments in total capital importation combined with a sustained decline in foreign direct investment highlights the fact that the economy is considered risky. We should prioritize foreign direct investment over foreign portfolio investment. There is need for prompt disbursement of funds for capital projects. We want government to create effective monitoring mechanisms for proper oversight functions to achieve intended outcomes. It is equally important for government and its agencies to release performance reports to stakeholders and general public on a periodic basis. However, the increase in VAT rate from 5% to 7.5% gives us concern. The new tax regime does not bode well for manufacturers and other stakeholders in the real economy. The new tax regime will affect cost of production and profit margin with consumers at the receiving end. We advise government to utilize the additional income that will be generated by the increase in VAT to develop quality infrastructure. And that's all on business news. I am Irene Obani. Still ahead on Plus TV Africa News. It's our roundup on entertainment and sports. We'll be back in a moment.